Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, I had someone uh, show me a pretty weird situation where git add dot was not doing what they expected. Uh, they were working in a mono repo and uh, I figured I would show why it's happening and then a few cool commands that can allow you to do a similar thing. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, we're gonna simulate their setup. We're gonna use not a mono repo. We're gonna use our favorite repo AST pretty. Again, not a mono repo, but it does have subdirectories, so it allows me to explain exactly what's going on. They had modified some file in a different project than the one they were working in. Let's just say that we have put hello, hello world into the readme. Of course, this is not a perfect representation of a mono repo, but again, uh, they were inside of some sub project. In this case, we're gonna use the tests subdirectory to simulate that. And we were, when they ran git status, they noticed that there were changes not staged for commit, modifications uh, that they expected git add dot to add. Now, uh, if we run git add dot, you'll see that it succeeded, it exited zero, but it did nothing. Uh, it didn't modify, it didn't stage this modified file for commit. And the reason for that is, is the dot here is a path and git is not going to descend upwards from git add dot. Uh, their confusion was that they learned this command as add everything and it doesn't really add everything because you can be in a subdirectory. Now, what they could have done is git add dot dot, uh, that would have referred to the parent directory and then descended from there. And you'll see that that does stage this. If we get reset dot dot, that will unstage this. Um, but I felt that that was not as, as interesting as it could be. Uh, it turns out there's a special thing called path specs in Git. And one specific one is colon slash, which I think looks funny. It's a little, you know, meh smiley face. Uh, this will add files from the root of the repository independent of where you are inside of it. The colon is a special character that tells git to treat the rest of it as a path spec and slash is a shorthand for the root of the repository. And so you'll see here if we do git status, the readme is added. Uh, there's a whole long explanation on path specs in the git man page. Um, I, I actually scrolled through this a little bit before recording and found another real funny looking one. Uh, if we do git reset again, actually I could have done can I do git reset colon slash? Uh, colon slash. Oh yeah, that does work. Uh, so it turns out there's this other long form of colon slash, which is git add colon parentheses top parentheses. Uh, oops, and I have to put that in quotes because otherwise bash will interpret it. Uh, this also does the same thing as colon slash, which I think just also looks pretty funny. Uh, but anyway, little quirk with path specs uh, and to you know, be, be cognizant of passing paths to get add if you're going to CD around your repository. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.